Hello students, welcome to my channel Learning History Made Easy. In today's video, I'll be explaining about the party system in India, which is a topic in your political science subject. Before going into the video, if anyone is seeing the channel for the first time, or if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and share it with your friends. And also click the bell button to receive notifications whenever I upload new videos. So without wasting time, let us get into the video. So the video is about party system in India. Okay, so let us see uh, the different uh, topics in party system of India. Party system in India. So regarding the party system, India is the largest democracy. We know that India is the largest democracy and political parties are indispensable for the system. Political parties have a, a very important role uh, in our country. And after the declaration of results in any election, uh, the party with majority form the government and rest are in opposition. So that is a common thing. In any election, the party with majority will uh, form the government and uh, the other party will be in the uh, opposition. So, um, there will be always a ruling party, okay, a ruling party will be there and also an opposition party. Ruling party will be the party with majority, they form the government and opposition will be the uh, party who did not win the election. So, this is the common idea regarding political party. So, what is the meaning of the word political party? So, if you see the meaning of the word political party, it is a group of organized people, group of organized people. So, political party is a group of organized people for a common purpose. They have a common purpose of attaining political power okay they want to attain political power and that through democratic methods democratic methods okay so this is the meaning of the word political party so political party is a group it is a group of uh, organized people and these people work for a common purpose and they want to attain political power through democratic methods so that is the uh, meaning of the word political party so if you see uh, the party system in india we have uh, two kinds of uh, ruling and opposition party and the meaning of the word political party is a group of people who work for a common um, purpose for attaining political power through democratic methods now in india or uh, basically party system is classified into different uh, types okay so if you see party system party system is classified classified into three different uh, types okay so what is the classification first one is single party system single party system that is the first type of classification Second is by party system, system, okay, sorry, system. And the third one is multi-party system, multi-party system. So we have three different types, that is single party system, by party system and multi-party system. So now let us see one by one. What is the difference between each one of these? What is single party? What is um, uh, bi party? And what is multi party? So, first we will see about single party system. Single party system. The prevalence of single political party in a country is called as single party system. From name only you can understand. So, here uh, there is the prevalence of single party single party party in a country single political party in a country that is called as single party system for example you can see china okay 
that is prevalence of single political party. Next we will see what is bi-party system same from the name only you can understand existence of two political parties in the country two political parties in the country that is called as bi-party system example we can say USA. Now the third one multi-party system multi-party we are very familiar with multi-party system that is the presence of two or more than two not two uh, we can say the prevalence of more than two two means it is bi-party system the prevalence of more than two political parties political parties in a country is called as multi-party system example we all know india okay so this is the three different classification of the party political party system single party system prevalence of one single party in a country is single party system by party the prevalence of two political parties and multi-party system is presence of more than two political party in a country is called as multi-party system example is india so we understood about the political parties now let us see what are uh, the nature of political parties nature of political parties so the nature of uh, Indian political party uh, we are taking the case of India the nature of Indian party system can be tracked back from the Indian national movement from the uh, Indian national movement time okay INM it was founded by A. O. Hume in 1885 Indian national movement um, it was uh, founded by A. O. Uh, Hume in 1885 and it was to unite the people of India to fight against British basically it was to unite the people of India unite the people of India people of India against the uh, British rule people of India against the British rule and Muslim League Muslim uh, League was uh, founded in 1906 later many other uh, parties like a uh, Hindu Mahasabha Hindu Mahasabha then uh, Communist Party of India Communist Party of India Party of India forward block forward block etc so many were there etc all these parties emerged in successive years so there are different um, if you trace back the history of uh, a political party system in india it goes back to uh, indian national movement from 1885 later many political parties like uh, muslim league hindu mahasabha forward block all these political parties were established in our country now in the post-independence period, that is after independence, if you see the post-independence period, post-independence, independence period, you can see uh, uh, Janata Party, Janata Party, or Bharatiya Janata Party, National Congress Party, National Congress Party, etc. Like that, many other parties have also grown according to the needs of the time. So that were the basic uh, history if you see how these different political parties came into existence in our country. Now we were discussing about the nature of political party. First uh, we can see uh, is extra constitutional growth. Extra constitutional growth. Okay. According to Article 19 of Constitution, all citizens can have freedom to form associations or unions. In the beginning, we have seen political party is an organized group of people. So, according to the Article 19 of Constitution, all citizens have the freedom to form associations or unions. And political parties were established based on this liberty. So, based on this liberty, political parties were established. Now, uh, the second uh, nature of party system in India, if you see, is the multi-party system. Multi-party system. We already have studied what is multi-party system. The heterogeneity in India, 
that is the diversity or heterogeneity in India led to the emergence of many political parties to protect their interest in mainstream of the country. So there are, there is India is a, a country where heterogeneity is existing. So because of that, it, emer it led to the emergence of many political parties and that was to uh, uh, protect their own uh, interest, okay, in the mainstream of the country. So that also is the nature of party system in India, multi-party system. Now the third one is split and merger. Split and merger, it is a very common system in Indian party system. Sometimes one party will be split into two or some will be merged into another. So the split and merger is a very common thing in the party system of India. Next one, end of single party era. End of single party era. So, because we have a multi-party system, we see the uh, end of a single party era. India was under Congress rule till 1977 and later small parties were forced to unite and fight against the Congress and capture power. This put an end to the single party era. So, that was another feature. Now, the fifth feature, if you see, dissident activities. Dissident activities. Personal attitudes, favoritism, etc. lead to dissident activities and this leads to political instability. That is what we see in Indian political system. The personal attitudes and favoritism and all these things lead to a lot of uh, dissident activities and because of this there is a lot of political instability in our country. So, an extra constitutional growth, multi-party system, split and merger, end of single party era, dissident activities, all these are the uh, different, uh, all these are considered to be the nature of uh, party system in India. Again, one more, that is the sixth one is, sorry, okay, the sixth one is defection defection okay elected members of legislature change their political parties often for personal benefits or differences of opinion or for many reasons so changing uh, from one party to another uh, for personal benefits or differences of opinion or many other reasons so this issue also is a big problem in indian party system that is defection elected members of the legislature change their political parties. Next, uh, the seventh uh, thing is leader worship. Leader worship. Most of the parties in India emphasize on leaders rather than ideologies. Okay. Actually, the political parties should give importance or give priority to their ideologies. But rather what is happening in India, they give importance to their leaders rather than ideologies. So, the concept of leader worship comes so that again is the nature of indian political party system next one is alliances without principles alliances without principles political parties are formed with principles of democracy and secularism but what happens some of them ignore them for the want of power and to make unholy alliances. So basically the parties are made on the um, basis of democracy and secularism. But for the need of power or for uh, unholy or unethical alliances, they forget all these or they ignore all these things. So that is alliances without principles. Next one, dominance of regional parties. Dominance of regional parties. The presence of regional parties during the first general election did not influence the voters, hence they were rejected. But during 1980s, sorry, but during 1980s they emerged very strong. These regional parties emerged very strong and they dominated the political scenario. But the thing is that the fir during first general election and all, it, it did not influence the voters, uh, regional political parties. But during 1980s, 
they emerged very strong and they dominated the political uh, scenario so that was another uh, nature or another um, characteristics we can say of the political party system in india next one if you see the 10th one religious uh, lingual and regionalism regionalism in spite of the rules of the election commission the basis of some political parties in india is religion language regionalism and the like but actually it is against the rules so in spite of the rules of the election commission even though rules are there the basis of some political parties in our country is either religion or language or regionalism next one the 11th point is leftist and rightist parties okay party system in india consists of two different ideologies one group the leftist ideologies and other one the rightist so there are two different groups considering the ideology one is leftist parties and other is the rightist ideology now uh, the last point if you see is the era of coalition okay when what is coalition when no single party can get absolute majority in an election if no single party is getting absolute majority like minded political parties that is political parties having almost like minded ideologies come together and join the single largest party and they form a coalition government so when no single party secure absolute majority what happens is like minded political parties come together and they join the single political party and this forms a coalition government so all these 12 points will be the uh, nature of a political party system in india so just let us go through all the points quickly once okay party system in india india is the largest democracy and political parties are indispensable to the system after the declaration of results in any election the party with majority form the government and the rest are in the opposition meaning political party is a group of organized people for a common purpose of attaining political power through democratic methods party system is classified as single party system bi party system and multi party system the prevalence of single political party in a country is called single party system example china the existence of two political party in the country is called bi party system example the usa and the presence of more than two political parties in a country is called multi party system example india nature the nature of indian party system can be tracked back from the indian national movement it was founded by a o hume in 1885 it was to unite the people of india to fight against the british imperialism muslim league was founded in 1906 many other parties like hindu mahasabha communist party of india forward block etc emerged in the successive years in the post independence period janata party bharatiya janata party national congress party etc have grown according to the needs of the time extra constitutional growth according to article 19 of the constitution all citizens can have freedom to form associations or unions and political parties were established on the basis of this liberty prevalence of multi party system the heterogeneity in india leads to the emergence of many political parties to protect their interest in the mainstream of the country split and merger it is common phenomena in indian party system end of single party era india was under congress rule till 1977 later small parties were forced to unite and fight against congress and capture power and this put an end to the single party era dissident activities personal attitudes favoritism etc lead to dissident activities and paved way for political instability defection elected members of the legislature change their political parties often for personal benefits 
or differences of opinion and many other reasons. Leader worship. Most of the parties in India emphasize on the leaders than the ideologies of the party. Alliances without principles. Political parties are formed with principles of democracy and secularism, but they ignore them for the want of power and make unholy alliances. Dominance of regional parties. The presence of regional parties during the first general election did not influence the voters, hence they were rejected. During 1980s, they emerged very strong and dominated the political scenario. Religious, lingual and regionalism. In spite of the rules of the election commission, the basis of some political parties in India is religion, language, regionalism and the like. Leftist and rightist parties. Party system in India consists of leftist and rightist ideology. The era of coalition, when no single party secure absolute majority, like-minded political parties come together and join the single largest party to form coalition government. So now let us go through some question and answers. What is political party? Political party is a group of organized people for common purpose of attaining political power through democratic methods. Name the party system in India, that is multi-party system. Who was the founder of Indian National Congress? A. O. Hume. When did Indian National Congress came into existence? 1885. What is single party system? Give one example. The prevalence of single political party in a country is called single party system. Example is China. What is dual party system? Give one example. The existence of two political parties in the country is called bi-party system. Example is USA. What is multi-party system? Give an example. The prevalence of more than two political parties in a country is called multi-party system. Example India. Now explain the nature of uh, party system in India. It is explained in the video. All the 12 points which I have explained, you will have to write as the answer for this nature of party system in India. So I hope uh, you have understood all the points which I have explained today. In case of any doubts, you can ask in the comment section. And also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Your likes and shares will be of a great encouragement for me to make more and more videos. So I hope to see you all soon in the coming video. Thank you for watching.